Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Velika Castle, and welcome back to some more Mountain Blade Warband. Today, we need to sort out this sorry lot behind me. Look at these guys. Well, they want to join up with me, so that's pretty cool. I can't hold that against them. Let's see what we have here today. Let's see. Ganawa, Lord Ganawa, Lord Hugo, Lord Nelag, Lord Munner, Lord Amdar. Oh my gosh. Okay, you know, you know what? I think this is going to be a lot of me messing with menus and, and trying to figure out who needs what as far as to keep them happy and to give them all fifes. Because I like to give all these guys fifes. So let me do a little jump cut here, and I'll handle. I think I, I think I'll handle the. Oh God, dude, look at this guy. Oh God, must be a must be a Kurgit with a bad haircut. Yeah, where is your hair? <sighs> Gee, I like how that's a that maybe I should make that a qualification. You can't have a stupid haircut to be a to be a lord of Delania. Like all these all these other guys are fine. And actually this this dude's fine too. You know, there's nothing wrong with being bald. He's rocking a pretty pretty awesome looking beard actually. But uh the whole the bowl what whatever that's called a bowl cut like a bowl cut with a, I don't know. That is the stupidest looking hairstyle ever. Anyway. Well, I actually, wait a minute, I don't know. I've seen some other Kurgits with, uh, with some, with some really dumb ones. But anyway, 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 anyway. Uh, so, uh, Yamira and I, hi Yamira, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good, thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, Yami I'm sorry, that was... That was probably slightly scary. <laughs> I was trying to do a few more voice. Oh. All right, I won't do that again. I promise. I promise. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to get these clusers sorted and rounded up. So see you in a second. All righty. Uh, everybody's been assigned to Fife. I turned down this guy, Jarl Neleg. And as soon as I turned him down, he instantly joined the Nords. And look at what this clouser says to me. Are you serious? Like, can I just tell one of my castle guards to, like, chop this guy's head off and push the body into the fire pit in the center? Like, seriously, it's chop his head off and stick his body in the fire right there. I mean, look, look what he's saying to me in my own castle. Well, at least I, at least I say something back to him and I don't just sit there like a closer. I am not afraid of you. I will fight. Yeah, I'm gonna fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kick you, kick you nuts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, uh, oh, the, the weights and duties of being a king, they're innumerable, I tell you, it's nothing but a headache, a constant headache. Uh, so all these dudes are my new, my new lords, I'll put on like one, two, three, four, five, five new lords have joined me, that's pretty awesome all at once, and I decline this, this jerk butt right here, uh, so if we leave, and then we wait for a bit, and we go back to the castle. Have they left? It appears that, yeah, they left. Okay. Lady Catala is here. Who are you? All oh, right, right. Sabula, no, wife to Lord Hugo. I must beg my leave. Okay, so that's Lord Hugo's wife. She's still hanging around here. So everybody's left and probably gone to their... They're fives. Uh, and I don't think we needed anything from here. And I'm pretty sure did we... We did have some books to read. But I was going to try to use those uh, more strategically. Uh, let's sell that stuff that we don't need anymore. And yeah, I don't think we needed any, any armor or weapons. Oh, there's a military cleaver. Not quite as good as my masterwork one, though. Well, it's only one less damage. Okay. Anyway. Uh, and yeah, I, I I don't really think I need to check shops as much anymore. Uh, if I ever wanted to move my capital, though, I would need silk and tools. But 
hopefully those won't be hard to track down. And I don't think I'll ever move my capital. I like uh, I like Velika. It's pretty cool. All right. So we have range troops, which I think are pretty good at fighting uh, out in the open. And it looks like my forces we have run out the uh, we have routed the vile Saren to dogs pretty much and there's and there's only the the vegars and the nords left now let's see here notes factions delania uh, look at all the lords we have so we're at peace we're neutral with both of these uh, people who are left here and uh, they're actually at a truce with each other. You know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to wait here. And by here, I mean maybe by order of King Yarag, look, Kingdom of Hesbon died of treason. Oh, he just joined me, I think. Hold on. Let's go back to the castle here. Lord Lackham? Lord... There he is. This is the guy that just defected. This guy just defected from the Vagars. Wow! Treatment of Sultan Hakim. Uh, he's suspicious, but I bet if I gave him a five, he, that would change. Yeah, I think I can work with a negative nine. I can get that up. Honor to accept your pledge. So, Lord Lakeham. This is what I was doing earlier, and I decided to cut out the bulk of it. So, Lord Lakeham gets uh, a fife. Let's give him one of the new uh, villages, I suppose. Be Mawidi. Give it to Lakeham. Uh, where are you? Did I pass you? I'm looking for Lord Lakeham, right? How do you spell it? Oh. Never mind. Lord Lakeham. Lakeham? Lakeham? I wish to grant one of my vassals a fife. Let's give out, uh, I don't know, Ab. I don't know where, even know where that is. There, oh, there he is. Okay. So he's up to 16 now. That's cool. Lord Tirida is down to zero. So we should probably f give him another fife. Uh, let's give him Tazjanet. And let's give that to Lord Tirida. And that gets him back up. There we go. I'm trying to monitor whenever... Oh, we got a negative... Oh, ugh. Yeah, this is why there's like a limit to... I guess how many lords I can end up having... Because they're just going to bicker every time I hand out fifes. Uh, anyway. Lord Lackham. Lord Munteller. Munteller, huh? Alright. This guy kind of looks like a frog. I dub you the frog knight. Munteller is the frog knight. Yeah, sure. So let's give him uh, a fife. Let's give him whatever that Munteller. There we go. So he's got a fife. That's all for now. And what about Rikes here? Oh, wow. Oh, this guy. I don't know. Nah. You can go join the Nords. Yeah, I, I, that's already way too low. He can just hate me. He can just float and sputter. Meh, get out of here. Alright. Leave. So we have some time to kill, just because I want to see if uh, the Nords and the Vagars declare war on each other. Uh, I kind of want to wait and see if, if one of them declares war on me. And if they do, I'll throw everything I have at them. Some soldiers are ready to upgrade. 
Because what I think might happen is if I declare a war on one, like let's say I declare a war on the Vagars, then the Nords might attack me. But if I wait until which, I'll, I'll wait and see which one of them, these two factions, has the appetite for war, and I'll let them make the first move. And then that'll tell me which one was the most eager to declare a war on me. And I'll fight them. Because let's say... My thinking here is like, let's say I declare... One of these factions has a bigger desire to fight me than the other one does. I'm pretty sure they're not tied. There's some hidden value there of of, of uh, their likelihood to fight another nation... And one of these two remaining nations has me higher on the list than the other one does, right? I mean, that makes sense. That's pretty basic. So, let's say it's the Nords, just as an example. And I attack the Vagars, who weren't going to attack me in the first place. Then the Nords attack me. Then I'm at war with both of them. So, basically, that's what I'm trying to avoid. I want to fight one person at a time, if I can. Um, here's the village of Ambien. That'll put you to sleep. There's Telrog Castle. Hi, guys. Uh, how's it going? You guys gonna declare war on me or anything? Let's go talk to... Let's go go to the castle. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see what these guys say. Hello, is King Ragnar here? Jarl... Wow, look... Jarl Immerza. I'm pretty sure you're not a Nord. I'm pretty sure you're a Kurgat. Huh. Okay. I don't I, I don't remember capturing Sargoth. Maybe it was because we were together. I don't. I, I don't remember that. I fought with him. And captured Sargoth together. Huh, I don't know. I like the Nord Castle. Hi guys. Um, leave. You know what I want to see? I want to see something. I'm kind of curious. And we're just messing around anyway. We got four about four days to kill. Uh, King Ragnar, Sargoth. He's in the field close to Sargoth. Okay. Oh, that's him right there with a giant army. Four sixty-nine. Jeez. Good to see you again, Vexdavian. When last we met, you had me at your mercy and allowed me to go free. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad I talked with them. I, what does that do if I out offer this? Does that mean my entire kingdom joins him? What are you and your men doing? <clears throat> uh, how goes the war? Uh, I should ask you something. What is the realm doing? They're at peace. Oh, okay. No, okay. Uh, what else can I do? Oh my gosh. What is this? You probably know that I am the lord of the town of Tyr. Does he, like, not recognize that I'm a king? Taxes and rents. Wow! So let's think about this, guys. The King of the Nords is accepting help personally from another from another king 
of the player's faction to go get taxes for him because he can't do it himself. Sure. We have an agreement. All right, so we're going to go t collect taxes from Tyr because, I mean, you know, why not? Uh, let's see if I can build some. Maybe I, maybe I can. Maybe doing this can help me build some good relations with the uh, the Nords and get them to avoid declaring war on me. Maybe Tavern Keeper. Uh, let's buy some wine. Uh, I should leave. So maybe maybe when I collect taxes, they will. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, too bad. Morale's low. Oh, because we haven't uh, fought anything in a while. Yeah, if you don't, if you go for a while without battle, your two troops get a little restless. Uh, my relations with the tears deteriorated. Okay, and they're indifferent. Well, that's okay. Is it the tavern? Let's, uh, can we buy them wine again? Maybe if we get them drunk enough, they'll, oh, we can't. If we get them drunk enough, they'll forget about, uh, well, hey, we're, we're at neutral. We, we came in with zero and we left with zero, so that's cool. But basically, uh, in my mind, we got the town tipsy and a little drunk, and then we kind of was like, hey, drunk people, so why don't you chip in the taxes at show the king? And, and they were like, ha, ah, you're cool, you brought us drinks, yeah, sure, man. And then, and then once they... Woke up the next morning, they were like, was that really a good idea? Alright, where is Ragnar? You are not a Nord. I'm pretty sure you're not a Nord. Uh, I wish to ask you something. Where is King Ragnar? He is close to Telrog Castle. Cool. Alright, we're going to go find Raggy Poo. Must be down here. Uh, he can't move too fast, because he's, yeah. Yeah, he's... Yep, there he goes. Kingdom of Vagrus declare war against the Kingdom of Nord. So they're determined to fight each other. Let's go ask King Ragnar. Hi, Ragnar. About the task you gave me. Boom. Done. Uh, let's ask him again. I have something you could help with. An issue with the lawless villain known as Calderon the Sparrow. He murdered one of my men and has been on the run from his judgment ever since. I can't let him get away without with avoiding justice, so I put a bounty of 300 dinar on his head. Friends of the murdered man reckon that this assassin may have taken refuge with his kinsman at Ambien. Oh. Cool, I can do this. Alright, uh, we're going to go to Ambien. We're going to hunt this guy down. This might actually be a good chance for me to gain some honor. And yeah, my morale is low, probably because uh, reports... Honor, party morale, party size limits, party morale report. Yeah, the party size is just so big. Dang. Alright, well. Maybe if we get in a fight. We need to win a fight. Anybody see any bandits around here? Um... I have a question for Olaf. What target does he have in mind? Because we're not at war with anybody right now. At least I don't think we are. Now, there's Ambien. Uh, go to the village center. We're going to find this guy and beat him. Dun, 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 dun. We're looking for... If you've never done this quest before, we're looking for a nervous-looking man. Uh, and he's going to be 
basically he's going to be over like maybe behind one. He's trying to hide basically. He'll be uh he'll be hiding behind one of these buildings. He'll be standing around. Oh. Great. Ugh. Damn it. Did I just get my horse stuck? Tell me I didn't get stuck. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. Um, it feels good to just kind of derp around in this game, like I used to. It feels like recently I've been doing nothing but uh, sieging stuff. And I kind of forgot how fun it is to just kind of do random stuff like this in this game. Ah, there he is. This is this is going to be him right here. Yep, nervous man. Hello. You ready to are you ready to die? I'm looking for the murderer by the name of Caldera and the Sparrow. You fit his description. Uh oh. God, look at look at me. I look kind of intimidating. <laughs> And drop your sword. If you are innocent, you have nothing to fear. We'll go now and talk to your neighbors. And if they verify your story, I'll go on my way. I'm not going anywhere, friend. You're going to have to fight for your silver today. Um. I came not for money, but to execute the law. Okay, then. I like how he can't hurt me. Okay, that was easy. Your relation with Ambien is deteriorated. Well, I don't care. Whee! Uh, let's go find King Ragnar, who's probably somewhere back up here. Last I saw, he was in... There he is. Okay. About the task you gave me. Boom. And we'll be a better lot, a lot better off without him. Thank you, Vexdavian, for removing this long festering thorn from my side. Um, if I say no, if I say no, I don't think I lose rep. There we go. I gain honor and more rep. Okay, good. That was the good choice because I, I really, I don't, I don't, I don't need, I don't need 300 denarii. I need rep, and I could, I could use some honor, because I tarnish my honor every time I keep prisoners. So having a, another way to build it back up is kind of cool. Can I, can I move in to help these guys? Oh wow! I'm gonna watch this. Damn it, we keep bleeding. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'm just going to go back and put him in the castle. Okay, making plenty of money. Okay, let's head back to Velika, and we're going to deposit some of these sharpshooters so that uh, my morale is balanced out. Yeah, they keep deserting. Yeah, it's because the uh, they're restless and we're not we haven't gotten in any battles, so if I'm gonna be if I'm just gonna be kind of derping around, uh, I need a smaller party so they don't get as restless. So we are going to manage the garrison and we are going to deposit. Let's just throw all of them in there. There we go. Leave. So now if we go to uh, party morale report. Uh, Party size is now minus 11. Recent events, negative 72. Yeah, the recent events is me not being in combat. So it would really help if I uh, could find, you know, bandits to fight or something. Uh, hopefully, let's see, reports, party morale report, leadership, base morale, food variety. 
Wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Like, just my food variety and base morale should undo the recent events. I don't get... Yeah, I don't get that. That should have changed when I dropped my, uh... Dropped my, uh... Dropped those guys off. I guess I just need to go get in a fight with something. Ah, uh, crud. I think there was a band... Yeah, okay, let's just go down here. We'll find some desert bandits. Zoom! Zoom!